Now, if Olivia does hit Maui County, it'll be the first tropical storm to hit that area in modern history. David Yeomans from our sister station in Texas is a meteorologist and also a hurricane expert. He is on Maui right now. So aloha to you, David. Uh, you've been with the Hurricane Hunters. You were there for, for Katrina. Now you chose to be on the island of Maui for a reason. Tell us why and what you're expecting there. Well, good evening to you all uh, watching this evening. Now, we chose the island of Maui because this is where we're expecting a direct hit, as you heard, from Tropical Storm Olivia tomorrow or early Wednesday. It's very important to note, though, that this is going to bring different heavy rainfall to different areas than what we saw with Hurricane Lane just two weeks ago. Now, it all has to do with the wind. You'll recall Hurricane Lane never actually hit the islands, of course. It's at 100, 120 miles to our south, bringing predominantly east and southeast winds to the island that I stand on tonight. That did bring up to two feet of rain to parts of the island, much less, of course, to other communities in this area. Now, as you see here on the maps on your screen from our weather center, Tropical Storm Olivia tomorrow, because of the different trajectory coming in than what we saw with Hurricane Lane, is expected to bring a predominantly north wind to the island. This is going to bring different heavy rainfall patterns than what we saw with Lane, and also than we see with our typical trade wind rainfall. Now, the trade winds, of course, interacting with the mountains, that's the main drive of where we see 10 inches of rain a year on, in these islands versus several hundred inches of rain a year. And it all has to do with a technical thing called orographic lift. Now, that's all caused by the mountains. The moist air blows in from the ocean. The mountains lift that air up. And then, as you all well know, it's rainier on the windward side of the mountain. And then that kind of rains out, uh, leaving no rain for the back side of the mountain, we, what we call a rain shadow. So, as you can imagine, this is all going to be very, very dependent on the specific track of tropical storm Olivia, especially if we're talking about the east side of the island, the center, or the west side, or just somewhere nearby. So it's extra crucial in this area and really all throughout the islands tomorrow that you stay with our weather team for constant updates and we'll be fine-tuning our impacts constantly as well. For KHON 2 News, I'm meteorologist David Yeomans. Back to you.